video. Today we're gonna talk about Koh Samui, Thailand. Koh Samui is a place where I've been not too long ago. Uh, I've been there in August. I went there for 10 days and uh, it was basically just for discovering the nightlife in Koh Samui. Um, Koh Samui is a little bit hard to reach if you don't want to pay so much money to fly directly from Bangkok to Koh Samui airport. So uh, it was a bit of a pain in the ass for me to get there. I had to fly to uh, Suratani first and then from Suratani I had to take a bus to uh, the pier and um, at the pier there I had to take a two hour boat drive all the way to uh, Koh Samui Island and then find the taxi to go to my hotel so all in all to get to Koh Samui took me about eight hours so uh, yeah if you have enough money then definitely fly to Koh Samui directly because uh, it's definitely annoying to get there if you want to do it the cheap way but of course that's not what we're going to talk about today today we're going to talk about the nightlife in Koh Samui and uh, the nightlife in Koh Samui is definitely super good I had a great time there and I will discuss several different areas in Koh Samui I, of course I only went there 10 days so I didn't discover everything but I think I went to the most uh, prolific places in uh, Koh Samui and uh, we will start off the list with a uh, soy green mango in Chaweng so soy green mango in Chaweng is definitely the center of the nightlife in Koh Samui most of the nightclubs and uh, bars are located in and around soy green mango there's definitely a lot to do there and uh, it's definitely the center of the of the island and um, it's located in Chaweng district as you can see I'm walking now in uh, the soy they even have a gogo -go bar there I think it's one of the only ones on the island other than that uh, you can see many beer bars already when I walk in the street and uh, I will go to the first club which is called Hush Bar it's a hip-hop club um, in the early evening it's not too crowded but around 12 it fills up quite nicely I was there alone and uh, I quickly made some friends so uh, it was pretty easy to, uh, to connect with people here it's uh, definitely crowded with foreigners not too many Thai people here I think uh, Koh Samui is one of the places with the most tourists in all of Thailand I found it pretty similar to Phuket but uh, nonetheless the nightlife in Koh Samui is very very different from, uh, from Phuket it feels much smaller and uh, much more cozy and uh, now I find myself in the main club in uh, Soy Green Mango and uh, this club is actually called the Green Mango Club this is one of the most fun places I've been in Thailand it's like a, an open air club and it's every day it's full of people it's packed every day the only downside I would say is, uh, is that the ratio is not great it's uh, filled with foreigners I would say 80% of the people who go here are, um, are male foreigners so the ratio is not great but uh, the music and the vibes um, are definitely one of the best I've seen in Thailand uh, another little downside is is that this club in particular is pretty expensive I think the Green Mango Club is definitely the most expensive club that you can find in, uh, in Soy Green Mango and maybe the most expensive club you can find uh, in Chaweng in general but other than that I would definitely recommend to go here because it's definitely um, a club with good vibes everybody's dancing the movie is the the music is great so um, definitely a great great place to go this club um, sees the most people around 12 till 2 and uh, this club closes around 2 in the morning and uh, around 2 in the morning then you have to find a different club and um, you will see in the next scene we're walking away from um, the Green Mango Club and we will pass uh, a little bit of an entertainment area uh, so Green Mango as I said has a lot of beer bars and uh, lady bars and as I'm walking to the next nightclub we will pass a lot of uh, the beer bars in the area I didn't really visit them because I think the beer bars and lady bars in this area are uh, pretty expensive and a little bit commercial um, we will talk about entertainment areas in Koh Samui in a later part of the video so for now I'm walking to the next club which is called The Black 
The Black is another great nightclub in Soy Green Mango, but this club stays open a little bit later. This club stays open till 4 in the morning, so naturally um, this club gets absolutely packed around 2 a.m. as uh, all the other places close around 2 a.m. So as you can see, the crowd looks pretty similar to, uh, to the club in Soy Green Mango. Um, it's also pretty much filled with 80% foreigners, but uh, nonetheless the atmosphere is great again, similar to the Green Mango Club. Um, it's super fun to go here, the music is great. Uh, a little downside is uh, again the ratio is not great and also uh, the drinks are pretty expensive. They also have a, a back room where you can do balloons, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it because the balloons are very very overpriced. But other than that, the Black is a great place to party until 4 in the morning when uh, you don't have another choice and all the other nightclubs are closed. And then when the Black closes, there is still one more bar where I usually ended up at the end of the evening, which is called CU Bar. It's a bar that stays open till pretty much 8 in the morning. And uh, I think three times in my stay in Koh Samui, I find myself there until uh, the, sun, the sun came out. So um, there's always still a place where you can end up. Uh, this place is not exactly in uh, Soy Green Mango, but it's close to it. So I will, um, I will include it in the section of Soy Green Mango. It's a bar where everybody goes uh, when everything else closes. As you can see, um, it's, a little bit, uh, it's a little bit chaotic. Everybody who goes here is uh, very drunk already but uh, yeah it's definitely uh, worth to go here if you want to go on a little adventure and uh, that's what I do when I go out alone I went to Koh Samui alone so uh, naturally every night that I went out was a little bit of an adventure and uh, every time I ended up here which is called CU Bar so uh, I can definitely recommend it if uh, you're not ready to go to sleep yet then the next area I will talk about is uh, the entertainment area. I will call it the entertainment area in an attempt to not get this video demonetized. So uh, right now I'm walking in uh, Soy Reggae. It's the main entertainment street in uh, Chaoeng. It's uh, a little bit far from uh, Soy Green Mango, but not too far, maybe a five minute bike ride. Um, as you can see, the street is just filled with uh, beer bars and uh, lady bars. So um, there's definitely a lot of choice here. And um, I definitely noticed that the street is like uh, very, very quiet. There's not many customers here. So if you go here, you will definitely get like a lot of attention because it's just very, very quiet. Most of the bars are empty without any any tourists i think maybe for every tourist there's maybe 10 girls in the street so you will definitely get a lot of attention here it's uh, it's pretty fun the vibe is very friendly as you can see i can film without any problem it's definitely different from uh, pattaya or bangkok where it's so busy here is just like very very quiet and laid back but still there's a lot of choice and uh, i feel like the girls are very young, most of them are very beautiful too, so I think uh, you can definitely have a good time here if you want to spend some money. I just came here with my friend, we played some pool, we had some drinks, we explored the area a little bit and uh, we had some fun here. When it comes to the prices, I feel like for the drinks it's a little bit more expensive than uh, in Pattaya. I feel like uh, the lady drinks are um, around 200 baht. Whereas in Pattaya you pay around 120 or 150 in one bar they even asked like 250 for a lady drink which is definitely more expensive than I'm, than I'm used to but uh, other than that it's very cozy and very laid back I feel like anything goes here I saw that every bar here in the street has like a room in the back for uh, for yeah for a short time and uh, I feel like you don't have this in Bangkok but here I feel like anything goes so yeah it's very laid back and not many rules you can do pretty much what you want here and uh, as you can see the whole setup in the street is very rudimentary like uh, all the bars are pretty much just uh, shacks with some uh, light decoration for the rest there's not much going on it's very uh, basic everything but uh, yeah still nonetheless it's a lot of fun 
everybody is very friendly and uh, I would definitely recommend this place if this is the kind of entertainment you are looking for um, it's definitely uh, one of the best places to go in Samui if this is what you're looking for I feel like the entertainment area in, uh, in Soy Green Mango is a little bit too touristy and a little bit busy here it's more easy going and uh, less people to deal with I think the prices in Soy Green Mango are probably much higher as well because that's where all the normal tourists stroll by if you come here then you come definitely for uh, one reason alone and that's why it's a little bit less busy here and uh, if this is the kind of entertainment you're looking for then I would definitely recommend Soy Green Mango um, Soy Reggae instead of uh, Soy Green Mango so um, all in all definitely a good place to be if uh, this is what you like the next area I will talk about is uh, the Lamai entertainment area Lamai is another district in Koh Samui I think it took me half an hour with the motorbike to uh, drive here maybe only 20 minutes I don't remember it's not too far and uh, to my surprise the Lamai entertainment area is just uh, filled with bars I think even more bars than uh, than in Soy Reggae and uh, also the area is a lot bigger it's not just one street it's many streets and um, it's definitely a lot of choice here as you can see I'm just walking in one of the in one of the streets that is just filled with bars and just like soy reggae it's not that busy there are not many customers and uh, everything is very quiet maybe it's because it was low season and maybe it's because some countries are still affected by the COVID restrictions but I went here in August 2022 so you would expect a little bit more people uh, I can imagine it's hard for these bars to survive because it's just so quiet there's every bar has maybe a handful of customers some bars are even completely empty but uh, I really enjoyed my time here I have to say that uh, this is probably the most friendly entertainment area I've ever been in my life it's just super laid back and uh, everybody is so friendly even more than in soy reggae but I have to say the quality of girls in this entertainment area is uh, definitely a little bit lower than uh, in the other places that I've noticed in uh, Koh Samui but uh, Koh Samui in general I feel like the quality of girls is a little bit lower than when you compare it to uh, Pattaya, Phuket or, uh, or even Bangkok um, especially here in the Lamai entertainment area I feel like uh, the girls who work here are definitely much older than, uh, than in other places and um, definitely a little bit um, less good looking but nonetheless I had a great time here because uh, for what they lack in looks they just uh, make up for it in uh, friendliness and good vibes everybody was down to party and uh, everybody was very friendly so uh, I definitely spent some money here just uh, buying everybody drinks and uh, having, a, having a great time. I definitely uh, enjoyed coming here um, but too bad I was living a little bit far from this area so I only went here one time but the one time that I went here I can definitely recommend it. Maybe if you're a little bit of an older guy and you like a little bit more slow atmosphere and a little bit more uh, laid back then uh, this place is definitely for you if this is the kind of entertainment you're looking for it's definitely uh, very laid back and I can see that uh, the, the customers who go here are also a little bit older on average than uh, the customers you see and the tourists you see um, strolling by in uh, the Chaweng area I think the Lamai area also has more expats so people who actually live here long term and uh, this area is definitely um, more focused on, uh, on people who live here than uh, tourists I think and also definitely more on uh, an older population than uh, the young backpackers who usually end up in Chaweng so uh, all in all as you can see in the, in the fragments I'm definitely having a great time it was very fun I, uh, I definitely had some drinks here maybe too much because I still had to drive back to Chaweng to my hotel but uh, I can definitely recommend it and maybe I even had more fun here than in the soy reggae area that is that was very close to my home so um, yeah if this is the kind of entertainment you like then uh, Lamai entertainment area 
is maybe even better than uh, the entertainment areas in Soy Reggae, which are a little bit more commercial and a little bit more pushy. This one is definitely the most laid back uh, entertainment area I've ever seen um, in Thailand, so uh, I can definitely recommend it. Next on the list we have Koh Phangan, which is of course uh, a different island. It's not located in Koh Samui and why I um, added to this video is because it's just very easy to uh, reach Koh Phangan from Koh Samui and uh, I think if you don't want to spend too much money on the overpriced hotels in uh, Koh Phangan during the full moon or the half moon party I think it's a very good idea to just uh, take the boat from the pier in Koh Samui and uh, just take the half an hour speedboat to the full moon or the half moon party and uh, this way you can save some money there are boats all through the evening going to uh, Koh Phangan when the full moon party is going on and in the morning the boat will pick you back up they ask 2000 baht for a return ticket you just have to show up at the pier and buy your ticket there uh, you don't have to book anything in advance so people always ask me like where do I buy boat tickets how do I do this how do I do that in Thailand every, everything is very laid back and everybody is very laid back just show up where you need to be and there will always be tickets left if you have money they will accept it so don't worry too much as you can see the full moon party is definitely something you have to do at least once in your life um, I had a lot of fun there it's definitely a, a once in a lifetime experience even though it's not really my kind of party because as you can see the full moon party really gives me a feeling of being somewhere in, in Europe because I think of the people going here it's probably around 90% foreigners and maybe 10% Thai people so that's not really my thing but uh, all in all the vibes here are super amazing the music is amazing everybody is just here to party and have a crazy time everybody is here on holiday so the vibes are very good I would say the prices are okay because you can negotiate if you're a tourist I saw they ask other people much more money for the alcohol they sell but because I can speak Thai pretty decent I could always bargain down the price so um, all in all I can recommend the full moon party especially when you're in Koh Samui at that time because in Koh Samui you can still keep your cheap hotel and then just take a boat and uh, so you don't have to spend all your money on an expensive hotel in Koh Phangan. so that's why I included in the Koh Samui nightlife because it's just very convenient to just hop on the boat go to the party and uh, hop on the boat back in the morning so uh, that's just what I did and with that said I will uh, end the Koh Samui nightlife guide here I hope you guys learned something I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and if you guys have any questions you can of course leave them in the comment section down below uh, I hope this video will not be demonetized but I think with showing all, with showing all the uh, entertainment areas it will probably be demonetized so if you guys want to support the channel please buy me a coffee the link is in the description it helps me a lot to keep making these videos because of course uh, it takes a lot of time and effort to make videos like this so uh, thank you guys in advance and uh, with that said i hope to see you guys in the next video and of course as always thank you for watching <laughs>